All right, welcome to this tutorial. We're gonna go over how to do the inverted high pass method to, of skin softening. So if you followed along with my last tutorial, you should have a background, a retouch layer, and then a wow layer or a non-destructive dodge and burn. If you didn't follow along with the uh, tutorial, the last tutorial, don't worry about that. We're going to zero it out and make it so that we're starting from the same point anyway. So if you did watch my last tutorial, what you're going to have to do is go up to layer and flatten your image. That's going to condense everything so that it is just one layer again. The next step is to hit command J and duplicate that layer. Then we're going to change that duplicate layer to a blend mode of linear light. So we're changing the blend mode from normal to linear light. From here, we're going to invert that layer. So you can invert by hitting Command I on a Mac. And then it's gonna give you some demonic looking individual. Next step is to go up to Filter, go to Other, and go to High Pass. We're gonna change this so that the radius is set to 24.0 pixels and click OK. Then we're gonna go up to Filter Go to Blur and then Gaussian Blur and we'll set that radius to 3.0 pixels and hit OK. Next, you're going to go over to where that layer exists and you're going to double click on the thumbnail. So double clicking on that little gray box. It's going to open the layer style dialog box. We're going to go down to the bottom half of the box where it says blend if gray. Now, if you remember from previous tutorials, in order to split these little toggles, you hold the option key and click. Bring this layer in about three to five picks or three to five points and do that for both the black and the white ends. So I brought it in four points on the black. You can see that by the zero slash four and I brought it in four points on the white end where it's 251 slash 255 and click OK. The next step is going down and adding a um, vector mask or a layer mask to that layer. So it's the little rectangle with the black circle in the middle. You're going to click that and you'll notice that a layer mask appears right beside the gray box in your layers or on layer one. Now with that layer mask selected, and we know this because the white little uh, corners surrounding the white box, we're going to invert the layer mask. So right now it's white and white reveals and black conceals. So white is going to show us everything on that gray layer. When we hit command I to invert, that layer mask is going to turn black and it's going to hide everything that we've just done. And the image should go back to normal. If the image does not go back to normal, you need to follow those steps again and retrace, see which step you missed. Next, in order to soften the skin, we're going to use our brush tool, which is right here on your toolbar click on that, you're going to want a very soft brush. So set the hardness to zero. And then the size of the brush is going to depend on the size of the image. So you notice my brush is a decent size. And then what you're going to do is make sure that your opacity up at the top, as well as your flow up at the top, is set to somewhere between 25 and a maximum of 50. This is just going to reduce the effect so it's not going to be as stark as when we had the layer mask not inverted. So with a large brush with a softness um, or a hardness set to zero, so a very soft large brush, the opacity and flow is set to 25% or about there. You're then going to be able to brush on the skin. So you're going to see that it just kind of gets a little softer and it kind of makes it look, quote unquote, photoshopped. <laughs> so 
So you can do this as much or as little as you like. And you'll notice that I am staying within the lines. And I'm not going over anything that shouldn't be soft. So like the edge of the nose, for instance, we're not going over. We're not going to go over eyelashes or any of those parts. Otherwise, you're going to get it kind of blurred. And it's just going to look like you didn't shoot it in focus. So you want those parts that should be sharp staying sharp. And be sure to adjust the size of the brush if you do so need that. And just kind of go through and soften all the spots that you would like softened. And I'm gonna do a little bit more over here. Perfect. So now we have softened the skin. And if you want to see what it looked like before, if you can remember that the little eye indicates the layer is visible currently, click on that and it will turn off the layer and make it not visible. And you can see the difference in softening her skin. One looks almost angelic and one is more lifelike or real. And that's all there is to it when softening skin. Be sure to save all your changes. Um, I always recommend saving as a Photoshop document. That way you can go back in and adjust anything that you need to. So just click File, Save As. I'm going to save to my computer. Hit Portrait PSD. I'm going to put Portrait 1 PSD just because I already have one named Portrait PSD. And click Save. Click OK. And there you have it. That's how you soften skin using the high pass um, or the inverted high pass skin softening method. Cheers guys.